Our starting premise today is a biology lab, okay? It has 500 bacteria up in there, and they're reproducing by splitting. I prefer the term binary fission because that's what it is, and it sounds cool and smart. And every hour on the hour, these bacteria have the, quite the regimen. Each bacteria splits into two bacteria. So you're going to fill out the table first. Notice A and B, one asks for an expression, one asks for an equation. Who can tell me the difference? What's the difference, Sean? Uh, an expression doesn't have an equal sign. An expression doesn't have an equal sign. So that is going to go in your table at the bottom. I just tried to circle that using white ink. The table on the bottom where it says T. You wouldn't write T equals T is already there as input. You'll just write the output. All right, so you and your partner is going to get after this. What are the, and you're going to do number two as well. After you got to do all the number one first. Um, what's the only bad answers? No answers. No answers. Or just like if you draw a semi truck on there or something, that'd be a bad answer too. But like, try it. The table that I saw you guys doing, it was looking pretty, like, like it was going pretty well. Hmm, what color am I going to choose? Let's choose this one. So after one hour, we got 1,000 bacteria, 2,000 bacteria, 4,000 bacteria. And then we have 32,000 bacteria. A lot of people wrote eight. I did it first time I did it too. I'm going to be honest. So, how, how are we getting to these total bacterias? Well, how many bacteria are we starting with again? 500. 500, so I'm starting here. Okay. Then what's happening to my 500? It's doubling. It's doubling. How many times? Okay. So... 500 times 2 to the T will give me total number of bacteria. So something like that. So as an equation, N equals, so follow my equation again situationally. Total number of bacteria is equal to the 500 I start with, and I'm going to double them T times. Do you guys see how like the, the equation I write here summarizes the situation? So that's why we saw that 2 popping up in a lot of the wrong answers. That's I'm glad you had a 2 because you're seeing it's doubling. But you were doubling time. Is time what's getting doubled ever? No, it's no, the bacteria. no, the bacteria are getting doubled, right? How many did we? What's our only reference point? 500. That's how many we start with. So let's use our equation to find out when t is 0. Where am I going to put that 0? In for t, I hope, right? Wait, is everybody good with that? So when t is 0, which means at 0 time, what number is this going to pump out? One. One. It's going to pump out 1. When the time is 0, time is 0, I'm not, well, it's not going to pump out 1. 2 to the 0 is 1. And I have 500 bacteria. This part's 1, which we have to do first because of the order of operations. Also... If I've got 2 to the 0, in context, that's saying I'm not doubling it. That's why it's 1 Stop. times it, times 1 is itself. Everybody good with everything we did there? Yeah. Okay, so what does this value mean in this situation? What does this mean in this situation? Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's how much we start with, right? These are our starting bacteria. Our founding members of bacteria here, right? Zero, 500. Zero time, we got 500. We see it situationally. We see it work in the equation. We see it in the table, three places, right? So here's what I want you to do next. On number two, there's a different biology lab. They're repping parasites, okay? And their parasites are tripling every hour, Okay? I actually maybe told you too much. What I want you to do is look at this equation that they've got for the parasites and tell me what the 103 represent in context. Do that with your partner, please. It goes with number one. Just look for the differences. So who can tell me what that 100 means? Let's keep it 100. Maddie. This is the starting number of bacteria, or parasites in this. And in context of a graph, what would this be? It'd be the y-intercept, right? I'm going to write that over here. 
It's the y-intercept, right? What we start with after zero time, right? That would also be the y-intercept. Who can tell me what's up with that number? What is that telling us? Ryan? It triples each hour is what this is saying. So oh, I wanted to write two Ps so bad. But it's tripling. So again, in context, this says I got 100 parasites. They're tripling every hour. Do you guys see the connection between the two? Now, this one where it says it's tripling, it has a special name, and you need to write this down. This is called the growth factor. It's the growth factor. So what was the growth factor of the bacteria one? Uh, it doubles. It doubles. Two in the bacteria. This is three. What kind of number would it need to be to be a growth factor, do you think? Because not every number. So it has to be positive, but I can give you a positive number that is not a growth factor. Think back to your scale drawing stuff. One. So one would not be growth, right? It would be the same. Can you get a positive number that wouldn't be growth? One wouldn't be growth. Anything else? Point 0.5. So anything less than one would not be growth. More anything more than one would be a growth factor. It's going to give us something that's bigger, right? Now, I'm going to I'm going to stop recording because I got something extra for you on this. Here's what you got to do next. Next up, thank you. Next, we're going to graph the two situations. We're going to graph them to compare them, and then you're going to identify. It's not on my slide, but it's on your paper next. You're going to identify where you can observe the numbers from the equations in your graphs. So this looks like a whole new problem in your packet, but it's referencing our bacteria and parasites still, okay? So the bacteria and parasites. Use your labels, your TN and TP. Use those to know which one is which. Okay, here we go. Let's get colorful. So the number of bacteria, just to remind us, is 500. It's Dublin. Everybody remember that equation? So at zero time, I was at 500. At one hour, I'm at 1,000. Two hours, I'm at 2,000. Three hours, I'm at 4,000. And four hours, I'm at 8,000. And how do I know this is exponential? Just by looking at it? Is it a line? Is my difference staying the same or increasing? My difference is increasing, right? Now, who can tell me where I can see this 500 in my graph? Where is that 500 in my graph? Yes. Yeah, it's my y-intercept, right? We kind of wrote that on the previous page. It's our starting amount. It's my y-intercept. When time is zero, I have 500 bacteria. What part of my graph lets me see that too? Or what is that two in the graph? What's happening in the graph because of that two? Sean? It's showing doubling, right? That's why my difference is doubling. Okay, let's go over here. My, uh, instead of N, I have parasites. I have 100 times 3 to the T. So I'm starting with 100, then I'm going 300, then I'm going 600. Then I'm going 1,200, no, 1,800. And then I'm going 8,100. There is that. So, yeah. Isn't for One, two, three, six. Isn't that something? Well, it's tripling yet. Yeah. Oh, 139. Yeah. I got that one the wrong. 139 right there. So, who can explain how this one's changing different than the other one? What are, what are the different aspects? Who can tell me how this one's different? They both kind of like look like the curve up quick kind of thing, but Ivy. Starts lower, yeah. It stays low longer, right? Even though the growth factor is higher, it's because I started now. But then what happens real quick, Ivy? It catches up and then is it, it's, see ya, it's gonna be way past, right? So, who can tell me where that 100 is represented in my graph? What's represented in my graph with that 100, Riley? Riley? This 100 right here, where's it represented in my graph? 
the starting point or my y-intercept. Thank you. And who can tell me where that, Sophia, where's that three represented at in my graph? The tripling, right? Or the growth factor. That's why it's so much steeper once it really starts taking off. Okay. 81, that's a big, and then you triple 81. Let's go like 224, right? Where when we double, if we were to go to number five on the previous, we double the eight, we're only at 16. That gap's going to get bigger and bigger, right? Mm 